They may not tell you this, but I'm gonna tell you. It's a lot of maintenance. It's a whole bunch of maintenance. Hello guys, it is your girl Prissy of Rush Hour Fashion and welcome back for another video. As you can tell by the title, I'm giving you guys another hair video. Y'all really seem to love my natural hair videos and I get a lot of great feedback on them. So I thought I would run it back again and bring you guys another hair video. Now if you're not caught up on all of the videos that I've uploaded about my hair, please Click the link right here to check out that natural hair playlist. I'm showing you guys my hair colors, how I use it, the developer that I use, just different styling techniques that I think you guys will really enjoy. So I thought I would pop into the beauty supply store, pick up a new product and try it out on camera for the first time with you guys. So if you enjoy videos like this, be sure to give me a thumbs up and let's jump into the tutorial. Let me show you guys what my hair is looking like right now. So this is about, I don't think I've done my hair like in a couple weeks. So this is probably like two weeks. So it is definitely time for a wash and deep condition and a styling. So I went to the beauty supply store yesterday to look for a product to use in today's video. And let me show you what I picked up. Now I am sure you guys have heard of this brand. It is called Myel, and I think it used to be called Myel Organics, but I see that just the Myel is on the packaging. So I'm very excited to use this. I was looking for a gel based product and this one is called the Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Styling Gel. Now with styling gels, I love to do finger coils, my wash and goes, also my coil and goes. Those are ideal styles to do with gels for me. As far as the cream based products, I like doing twist outs, bantu knots, and more of the drier styles with cream products. So let me show you all of the products I'm gonna be using to style my hair. Of course, the Myel, this is going to be my main styling product. I always keep my trusty water bottle on hand. Also gonna be using my sponge. <laughs> and looking at this sponge, I should have actually picked up another one of these from the beauty supply store yesterday. You're gonna need some type of clamps to keep the hair that you're not actually doing at the moment, just to keep that out of the way. The three styling utensils that I'm gonna use today to style my hair is a small tooth comb. Also gonna be using my detangling brush today. You guys loved my brush video, so I'm gonna run this back because I actually love this brush too. It makes styling so easy. And then as far as like picking my hair out, lifting my roots, I'm gonna be using my pick. I use this in just about every video, so of course I have to use my pick. Another styling utensil that you guys are always asking me about is this diffuser attachment. Now I've shown this in my videos several times and I always get asked, where's that diffuser from? Where'd you get the diffuser? It is by the brand Ion. And as with every product in this video, it's gonna be linked down in the description box below. You can click this link, it'll take you right to Amazon and you're able to purchase this yourself. So anytime I say that an item is in my description box down below or I'll link it, that means hit that more button and you'll be able to go straight to this product. If you have been around for a while, then you know I always start my styles off with some type of oil and I end it with some type of oil or some type of like oil sheen type spray. So for this video, I was just sent a package from Donna's Recipe. I received the Biotin gummies, which like I said, I just received this package, so I haven't even opened these yet, but I'm very excited to try them out. And I was also sent their strengthening hair oil. And I'll be using Donna's Recipe hair oil in today's video. All right, so I am back. After washing and conditioning my hair, I see that it is a bit faded. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop in a rinse. I'm gonna use this color Crimson by the brand Adore. 
And if you guys are interested in a coloring video, how I keep my hair red, because red hair, y'all, they may not tell you this, but I'm gonna tell you. It's a lot of maintenance. It's a whole bunch of maintenance. So like I said, I'm gonna pop on this crimson color by the brand Adore and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. My hair is freshly colored. As you can see, it looks so vibrant now. Next, I'm gonna add in the Donna's Recipe hair oil. Probably add about two of these to my scalp. I thought it was gonna be maybe like a yellowish color, but it's clear. I like that. So I'm just gonna go in with the dropper and place the oil on my scalp. All right guys, so as you can see, I have separated the sides and back, like the shorter areas of my hair. And as I was getting ready to put my styling product in it, I feel like I need to just shave this area down just a little bit so my sides can taper in a little bit more not suggesting you do this at home i am a risk taker when it comes to my hair as far as like diying it and doing stuff myself that's just what i do so the clippers that i'm going to be using are by the brand andy's and they are the speed master clippers i need a new pair of clippers like really really bad but i don't know which ones to get we've had these for so long um, they're still kicking, so unless Andy's wants to sponsor this video and send me a pair, I will be using these for a while. So I'm using the 1.5 guard, which is the 1 16th blade on these clippers. So like I said, I'm just going to turn them on and I'm not gonna set the blades like all the way to the front. As you can see, like, once you adjust the clippers, the blades go up a little bit closer, and that means your hair is going to be a lot shorter the closer the blades are up top. So I'm going to put them on the lowest setting. If you guys hear some rumbling in the background, that is thunder. It is raining and thundering and lightning so bad. Probably shouldn't even be doing this, but we about to get this done. Taper my sides down some, kind of shorten them because my hair is like a little bit out of shape, out of whack. See all that thick hair? <laughs> I feel like it needs to taper down some. So I'm just gonna give this a quick trim. All right, so you guys see a difference, right? Like I've kind of tapered this down a little bit. This side is just like doing its own thing, so. Let's get this side as uniform as this side is. All right, so I have shaped both sides of my hair as well as the back portion, and it has had a chance to dry, so I'm going to use my water bottle to add some water back to my hair. And I'm just gonna do this side for right now because I'm going to record this side for Instagram and TikTok. Next, I'm gonna go in with my styler, which is the Mayel Styling Gel. I haven't even opened this, so let's see what this looks like together. Mm. The scent is Hawaiian Ginger, and it does smell really good. It smells really fresh, and it is a clear product. I just hope it doesn't flake. Um, on the label, it does say no flaking, so I'm hoping that's the case, but I'm going to add some of this to the sides and back of my hair. And because I went ahead and shaped my sides and back, I feel like the coils are going to form a lot better when I get ready to use my sponge. I'm liking how it's coiling up and I haven't even like done anything except run my fingers through it. Let me show you guys what the coils are looking like up close. separated this little section right here from the back of my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and add some water and then some product to that one thing I can say I have been absolutely loving you guys and it makes my hair process like so much smoother is that doggone detangling brush like this right here <laughs> it's bomb 
And I know I told y'all I'm gonna order the real brush. I haven't done that yet. I mean, this has been working so good. So I'm just going to detangle this section. The only thing I've put in here is water. And then I'm gonna go back and add the product. See that? It needs to be detangled. Like, look at that, y'all. Y'all saw how frizzy it was. This is just the brush and water. I haven't even added any product to my hair at all. Y'all saw that? Like, that is bananas. Anyway, back in with my Miel, Miel. Oh gosh, I really need to learn how to pronounce this because I totally didn't. So, back in with my product. And I'm just going to rake that through with my fingers. Like, I don't even have to put product right there. My hair was already so curly, but of course, we're gonna add the product so it'll give it that added hole. Who else do that? Like, I have a, a bad habit of it. I'm like, okay, you're in the way. You need to go. And then I'm gonna go back in with my brush and actually style my hair this time. Just taking the brush and flipping upwards. Look at the coils, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and do these shorter sides really quickly. I'm gonna pop some finger coils in there because it is shorter and I like that definition that finger coils really provide. I have a couple of those showing you the different ways that I actually do my finger coils. So if you're interested in a video like that, then definitely check out the description box. And like I said, you can click that card above. And of course, for this tutorial, I'm going to be doing my brush curls because you guys really seem to love those. So I'm going to be just using my brush to achieve all of the curls along the top of my hair. And I would have used the brush for the sides and back, but they're just a little too short right now for the brush curls, in my opinion. All I do is take my brush. Now, initially when I detangled it, I had no product up here except water. I just added a little bit of product to this section and I'm just gonna take my detangling brush and just flip this hair going upwards. finished results I did the brush curls using the Miel or Miel styling gel the gel was really really good on my hair I felt like the brush just glided through my hair with this gel so I'm hoping it dries really nicely doesn't leave any flaking and does my hair right so right now I'm gonna add a little bit of the Donna's recipe oil to my hair and then I gotta go to my nail appointment y'all and we'll dry the hair when we come back Hello guys, so it's actually the next day. Let me show you guys what my nails are looking like. I've been getting a few designs and I really, really like it. And I thought I'd come the next day, for one, because I didn't feel like combing out my hair yesterday. And two, it's because I wanted to show you guys my overnight routine. Now, I have shown you this about two or three times in previous videos. And like I said, I will link the playlist right above for all of my natural hair videos. So feel free to watch those as well. But when I tell you guys my overnight routine is super, super basic. It is probably the most basic routine besides 
just going to sleep. I don't put anything as far as like product on my hair. I don't tie it in a special way. I do absolutely nothing special to it. So let me show you guys. What I do do is sleep on satin items. So I have a satin bonnet that I have on my hair to protect my actual hair. And then I have on a satin turban. So I use this to kind of keep my hair in place and keep it matted. I could just use the bonnet, but I feel like it'll be a little more wild if I only use the bonnet. So that's why I use the turban, pack my hair down just like this, and then I put on my bonnet. And I also sleep on a satin pillow. Now I didn't always sleep on a satin pillow. I think I incorporated the satin pillow probably like within the last year or two into my I guess nighttime routine, if you wanna call it that. Let's look at my hair and see what it's looking like the next day. All right, this is what my hair looking like. And see, it still looks good. It's still pretty much in place. I just need to use my pick and lift the roots and kind of shape it up a little bit, but it still looks good. All of my coils are still in place. Let me see how the back looks. Now with the back and the sides, sometimes I do need to refresh these areas, which my sides are looking really good. Um, I don't know about the back of my hair yet. It feels like this area may need to kind of be refreshed a little bit, but let me go and look at it and see. I think I am going to add just a little more product like down towards the bottom of my hair because I think that is where my bonnet like rubbed and it's just rubbing throughout the night. And anytime you have like a hair that is out of place, um, like at the top, sometimes my curls will flatten. Not all of them. See like this one. This one is a flat curl to me. All I would do is grab a little bit of my styler, which that is probably just a little too much. Just a little bit, right? Go down the shaft of the hair, boom, curl it back, right? And then you could either pop your diffuser on that to dry it or it'll blend in and dry with your hair. That is all I do. And now I'm gonna go in with my pick. You guys know I always use my pick and I'm going to lift my roots. See how I'm like going into the scalp? I don't actually part it and go into the scalp like this, but I'm showing you guys what I'm picking when I pick up lift my roots. I'm not messing with any of these coils here. I'm actually going down into the roots with my pick, right down at the base, right at my scalp, and then just lift up and stop. Do the same thing. Stop. So I'm gonna go in and do that all over my head. Towards the shorter areas of my hair, I don't like to go in that area with my pick because sometimes that pick will just boom, go straight through and you got like a little patch of afro right there and we don't want that. So I like to take my smaller comb, either some type of a rat tail comb and just basically get rid of the spaces in between there. So that is what I'm doing with this comb. But the goal is to keep these coils in place and maintain that definition. All right, so I have picked my hair out just a little bit. I'm gonna go back in in this area, but I feel like I need to do my diffuser a little bit because I have some curls that I kind of recurled and I need them to go up into my haircut. <laughs> All right, so now that my hair is combed out to my liking, and I don't know if you guys know, but as natural hair gets older, it gets bigger. So I don't wanna comb it out too, too much, cause I still wanna be able to keep some definition as the week progresses with this style. All right guys, so that is it. Here's the finished results of my hair. Super cute, super defined. Look at that. I see absolutely no residue in my hair. No flaking, no, just no nothing. It's so pretty.
Of course, this is just day one of using this product. So right now today, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I really like the consistency. It's a really nice gel, jelly product. It's not too sticky at all, and I really love the fact that I have absolutely no residue. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a huge fan of using the Eco Styler Gel, and I use that mainly because it's really inexpensive. I can get a huge container of it, and like I said, I really don't go anywhere that often so I'll just throw that on my hair and do my hair with eco styler gel but one thing about it it flakes it flakes like nobody's business so I don't like to use you know a lot of the eco styler and I do like to mix it with a little bit of leave-in conditioner because that really helps the flaking with eco styler I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me trying out a new product. If you have any product recommendations, anything that you want me to try, please let me know down in the comment section below. I'll go ahead and purchase it, use it, and put it in a video for you guys. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.